Welcome back to another episode of Mountain Outpost. We're here today in the Goo Energy Lab's kitchen, and this is How Do You Goo? All right, we were talking to a few of the folks here at Goo, and they were telling us some of the different ways that they like to eat a goo. Yeah, and there's a lot of variety here. I mean, if you've ever been out on a bike, on the trails, skiing, sometimes you, you're limited by what you are able to do with the gloves you have, all those sorts of things. And sometimes you've got personal preference, what feels good in the mouth. So we're gonna demo a couple of the ways that they goo, and we're gonna figure out how we goo, and we's, we's gonna get weird. Yeah, maybe give you guys a couple of ideas when you're out on the trails. Our first one that we have is the toothpaste roll up. Now, who coined this method? Do we have any idea? No idea. All right. I almost feel like we should have a mint flavored one for this, but we'll go with, I'm gonna choose birthday cake. I'm gonna go with uh, Tastefully Nude. Break it down, how does this one work? All right, so basically, much like you do when your toothpaste is getting towards the end, you gotta go ahead and roll it up from the bottom, get that last little bit out, right into the mouth. This is like maximizing every last drop. Good to the last drop. There you go, nice roll up, and it's pretty easy cleanup too. Bam. Ready to stash in the shorts. We're gonna TerraCycle these, right? We are gonna TerraCycle these. And where's our TerraCycling receptacle? We're gonna make one. Boom. It's happening. All right, so all these will be recycled here at Goo. Okay, next up, we got the Neat Freak. Now there's some people out there, they don't wanna get their hands all sticky when they're out on the trails, keep it nice and clean. Um, so, you know, when out, you're out there running, and of course we like to run with scissors always, so. Um, this one's pretty simple. You just pull out your trusty pair of scissors on the trail, snip the top right off. No mess. What you rocking over there? I'm going with the chai latte. This one's the chocolate coconut. Just like that. No fuss. So next one up is called the Teeth Squeegee, and this one is for when you're in the bonk stage of a race and you need it to hit hard. So you're gonna get 100% of the calories immediately down the hatch. Basic move here is you're gonna open up your goo, you're gonna bite down towards the bottom of it, or you know, whatever's comfortable for you, and you're just gonna use your teeth to squeegee it back, shoot it like a rocket into the back of that throat. probably do not want to have a tap wow. on this while you're trying this one. <laughs> it's just a lot of... I just got an entire toasted marshmallow right down the hatch. Mm. Ah. <laughs> That's the winner. That's actually my go-to if I'm in like a road race or something where I'm moving quick, tea squeegee is actually the way. Well, you were I saying do. just that across the years, that's pretty much what you did the entire time. Exclusively. It, just, it also saves time too. Yeah. Let's be honest. When you're out there, you just want to eat for as little time as possible. Still enjoy the flavor. Don't get me wrong. I enjoy the flavor, but you know, I need to get the calories in. I'm a heavy sweater. I got to get that sodium in. I got to goo quickly. All right. So this is Magda's preferred method. Am I am I correct? In you saying are correct. This? Okay. So. This one is more when you want to nurse those calories in at a consistent pace. This might even be the prescribed method that, I mean, if Magda says it, you know it's got to be true. So um, this one's real simple. You just sip your way uh, along. I mean, two to three goos an hour. You just kind of take a little sip, keep it in the hand, keep going down the trail. See, I missed the neat freak because I already can't open this. I mean, the scissors are still here. We're good. dabbing and going. And the big thing about this from a science standpoint is you're ensuring you don't get that insulin shock. You're slowly letting the carbs in so your body is taking them in, utilizing them, sending them where they gotta go, and so you're not going with a sugar spike and a sugar crash. Just keeping it flat, keeping it moving. You can really enjoy the flavor, you know? If, if you got one that you really, really enjoy, it, it just makes it last. You know, this is, this is the social sort of way to goo. You hang out with your friends, you're having a couple goos, you're kicking it. <laughs> Just like walking on the trail, watching the game, doing whatever it is that you do when you goo. Just mm, talk to my barista. Mm, I don't know, pop in a supermarket. Mm, swipe right a couple times. Whatever, do what you gotta do. Real easy, real chill, sipping on it. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and set this off to the side so I can keep sipping on it later. You. I pretty much crushed it. Pulled so. no punches. All right, so sometimes you have a bottle 
or maybe you're just out there and you don't wanna get your hands messy, like I, you can go ahead and use the diluter method. So with that, you go ahead and just take your trusty bottle of water, or whatever you might have. Beverage ahead, of choice. Beverage of choice. Go ahead and uh, take your goo, rip that bad boy open, and just drop it on in. I've Water seen people do this, even they'll prep it the night before the race. Mm -hmm. If they want just more liquid calories, this is also a method, you could even mix a couple together, you know, make a flavor combo for on the go. Let's see what you did there. So yeah, you just mix it right in there. Bang. Huh, flare. All day. It's a real light, just a light flavor. Just, uh, and then you're getting your hydration at the same time as well. Again, heavy sweaters, looking at you. <laughs> Dilute all day. So on this next one, all of us, what we like to see least on the trails is any sort of litter or trash. And although none of us mean for it to happen, now and again, we find those little wrapper tops out on the trails. So this is a way to kind of guarantee that that won't happen. As you are tearing across your top, if you just kind of be a little bit careful, you leave it a little bit hanging on the end there. Not like that. <laughs> I'm too strong. Um, so you just tuck it back and uh, you can enjoy just like normal and you're not gonna be losing those pesky tops on the trail. This one's easy, you're done. No extra mess, roll it up, fold it up, whatever you gotta do. Get it to the trailhead or the finish line of, of your choosing. Make sure that bad boy ends up terracycled. Okay, listen guys, if you had a childhood or you know somebody who did, you're probably familiar with a nice little pouch drink called the Capri Sun. Now, sometimes you wanna relive those glory days when life was easy and chill. You can do that with your goo packets. Take your goo flavor of choice, take the straw of choice, and go ahead and just stab right into that bad boy for a nice delectable treat. Any luck over there? <laughs> no, we're, we're making progress. Really? All right, plan B. There is another way in. <laughs> oh, that was actually pretty easy. And with the magic of editing, da -da. Oh, got it. Hmm, just got it. <laughs> you look like a you're playing the flute over there. <laughs> Bam! Sweet. All right, so next up is the crusher. So for those of you who are either having a great day or having a horrible day or just want to flex on them, this one's A little bit of trail you. rage, maybe. Yeah, don't take it out on other people. Don't take it on the environment. Take it out on the goo. So open that bad boy up. And you're just gonna one punch gun, Chuck Norris it. Full squeeze, straight in. Mm. Boom! Ha! <laughs> or whatever noise you want to make because you're not weird like me. How'd Maybe you not. swallow it that fast and give out the Hulk scream? That was pretty impressive. Well, I have a particular set of skills. Nice. This next one is for all you people out there that we despise. You're the ones littering all over the place. You take your gel, you have it, and you're like, mm, I don't have pockets, or I don't want to get sticky, or whatever dumb excuse you have, and you just throw it off or to the side. Or the trail sweeps are going to pick it up. Yeah. And guess what? They're not. Well, Pack they probably will, but they're not gonna like you for it. Hey, do, do your own damn work, all right? This one is called the a Don't be that guy. Don't do it. Don't litter. Anytime. Out your car window, don't do that either. Be a person, 2019, be better. <laughs> it's not that hard. Come on. Like. All right, so we've got a uh, couple bonus round items here. The first one, right before we started filming this show, we stuck a couple in the freezer. So we're gonna see how those are progressing. This is the goosicle. Oh, it's frosty. Oh, that has to be nice on a, on a warm day. So I've got the vanilla orange creamsicle. 
I'm going with the uh, Chocolate Outrage. So these aren't fully frozen. I've actually never frozen a goo before, or even, I've never tried this even, but it's quite cold, for sure. It's so thick. Mmm. Wow. It's like taffy. Cold taffy. Mmm. Mmm. This is the jam. Oh, yeah. Now, I know that. Honestly, I think this could be a new thing. This could be. Except for people who are like in the Northeast that are like, that's literally all of my goos all of winter. <laughs> we <laughs> get it. That's very true. I mean, being from Arizona, I've never experienced this before. But. But I like it. This I think is the jam. I think this could be really a hit on a on a cold on a hot day, you know? Kind oh, yeah. Cool you down from the inside. Exactly. Right, my sugar level is about I think it's about 130% of max value. Oh, well, I'm I definitely think, feeling it. I think we could definitely take that higher. Well, how do you suggest that? Uh, I think we're going <laughs> to take it we're going to amp it up to 1000% because sometimes you're in the real deep bonk phase. Right, you're super in the hole. You have no idea how you're gonna get to the finish. You're looking inside, like, how have I made such a bad life decision? How did I end up here? You're behind on your nutrition. There's one way to catch up. No. AKA the Bridget, AKA <laughs> the uh, last acts of a desperate man. Sheer Sometimes survival. you just gotta shoot it straight from the bottle. I'm just saying, saying, if they if they'd have done this in 127 hours, like he definitely would have got out with all his limbs. Cheers, sir. Cheers. Mmm. 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 Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Actually feel really good. Yeah. Feel great. Yeah, you're gonna do more. Yep. Yeah. You're gonna regret that. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> it's not much left. Great. Okay. Cool. I can't feel my mouth. <laughs> Any other words? There are no words for that one. <laughs> nah, I got nothing. I'm super hype. And in about 20 minutes, I'm gonna be asleep right where I stand. So it's basically your last card. Yeah. Yeah, don't. Don't shoot your shot early with that one, because that is oh, that is gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt later. I already know it. I just feel bad. There's a reason why goos are packaged in a, in, in a, in a certain size, and uh, you should just heed heed that heed that warning. Don't be an idiot. Learn from my mistakes. Why? When at some point? Yeah, don't. Ugh. So uh, <laughs> the, the fine folks at Goo uh, have taken the liberty of showing us that. This is kind of a misuse of their product, so what you're really supposed to do is fill up this little uh, pouch here. This actually has five whole servings. Yeah, that's uh, sweet so you can fill this up three different times with one of these 15 packs, and you basically have like two to three hours worth of calories right there, not two to three seconds. Exactly, so take the flask, fill it up, put it in your vest or back pockets on and the don't bike. don't eat it all at once, please, just, whatever you cruise. do. Just cruise, enjoy it. Be, be more of a sipper than Whatever the, the hell that thing was. That was <laughs> oh, be smart. Be smart. We just want to thank Goo Energy Labs for having us out here in their official kitchen right here in Berkeley, California. They've got all of their amazing Goo flavors, and thank you for all of the tips on what not to do and what to do. Go for it, guys. Go for it. Thank you for watching this episode of Mountain Outpost. Make sure to hit the subscribe button below to stay up to date on videos coming at you all the damn time from Mountain Outhouse news and whatever dumb challenges we get into. Make sure to head over to Facebook and like us at Mountain Outpost, on Instagram at Mountain Outpost, and on Twitter at Mountain Outpost. Also make sure you hop over to the store, mountainoutpost.com. We got shirts, we got mugs, we got all the things to make sure you're taken care of all year round and continue to get the PSAs to not do these crazy things like we're doing. And if you wanna support the show directly, hop over to our Patreon page. For as little as a dollar, you can basically help finance all this dumbness and probably my <laughs> impending medical bills. So thanks for watching and we will catch you guys very soon. Go on. Yeah. You got it, you nailed it. It only took two times this time.
chocolate outrage. Someone ate my chocolate outrage. <laughs> okay, going for chocolate coconut. Hi, I'm Magda Boulet. And how do I go? I'm a sipper. Mm. Mm hmm. About 10 15 minutes per packet. That's about right for me. Hi, my name's Louie. Nickname Ouija. I call this the Ouija Squeegee. Little strawberry banana action, shake it all to the bottom. Tear that top off completely. Mmm. Let down the gullet. Put it in your pocket, don't let it. Hi, I'm Brian. When I eat goo, I like to get it down as quickly as possible, so I just crush it. All in. Hi, I'm Celio. I'm the one stop shop. Yum. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bridget, and when I go, I like to go big. Mm. <laughs> I was like, man, I've got a bigger mouth than I thought I had.